What's the one number that you need to know if you are a buyer or seller in the Phoenix Metro market? Make sure you stay until the end of the video so that you can find out how to get your own copy of the monthly market update from the Crimeford Report. All right, so those of you that have been with us for some time, you know that once a month we bring you uh, information in our monthly market update from the Crawford Report. So if you're a buyer in this market, there are a couple of things that you need to know. First of all, coming into the shutdown, uh, we had very, very short supply and a lot of buyers competing for those homes. Once the shutdown hit, we had buyers decide that they were gonna take a little powder and decide uh, later about buying. They kind of wanted to see what was happening. So we've seen a, short, a shortening of demand there, but the situation is nothing like what we experienced in 2008. We, have, uh, we don't have the vacant homes like we had in 2008, and affordability is still key to looking at demand. Right now, median uh, income supports home prices. So it's not as though homes have become completely unaffordable. Right, in fact, in 2008, uh, if I remember the statistics, the, the median income only supported, allowed for about 28% mm -hmm. of people to make a home purchase. Right, and right now we're at what, 60, 68%. Correct, so affordability so, is right. much, much higher. Right, so right. if you make the median uh, income, you can afford 68% of what's on the market. Right, which is fantastic. Another key difference between 2008 uh, is that in 2008, the problem itself was in the housing market. The housing market caused the problem and then that spread uh, you know, throughout the entire market. Whereas in this case, obviously, the housing market is fundamentally sound, but there's this outside actor, this outside uh, influence, of course, the COVID-19, um, that is impacting uh, not only the housing market, but of course, uh, the, the, you know, the entire economy. Now, interestingly, what we're seeing in the Phoenix metro market because of the supply and demand situation that Stacey had talked about is that as of right now, pricing is not being affected. Uh, we are not seeing drastic price reductions uh, take place across the board, uh, across, across all market segments. We are seeing some impact, however, uh, and the two, the two impacts are one, sellers are not pricing into their pricing an accelerated, uh, you know, an accelerated growth in 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 the amount they're demanding, and sellers are also becoming more realistic in the amount of time that their home may set, may remain on the market. So, uh, but as of right now, pricing itself and and market value itself is is currently not being impacted. Earlier in our video, we had. Uh, told you that we would share with you the number one number that anyone interested in buying or selling residential real estate in the Phoenix metro area needed to know. And that number is called the Cromford Market Index. And you can see right here from uh, this dial that currently the Cromford uh, Market Index or CMI is at 155.6, about 156 rounded up. Right. So in a balanced market, the CMI is at 100. And if you go over 100, that means it's a seller's market and there's upward pricing pressure. And if you're under 100, that makes it a buyer's market and there's downward pressure on prices. If you look here, we have four uh, different years, three and a half approximately uh, years displayed of uh, the CMI. And um, what you can see here right off the bat is that for the past three to four years, we have been squarely in a seller's market. Right. And if you look at 2020, you'll see that we went from 240 or 200 up to 240, which is a very high number for this index. And then when the shutdown happened, we saw a sharp drop in buyers putting homes under contract as uh, people took in the shock of what was happening and decided that they needed to take a pause and uh, watch how this played out. Right, so again, currently you can see we are uh, here, which is again about the 156 point. But again, what's important to note is that for pricing in the Phoenix metro area to truly be impacted, the Cromford Market Index would have to drop below 100, in other words, move into buyer's market territory, and it would have to stay there for you know, some period of time before sellers started to react uh, by uh, reducing their prices across the board. So the drop is starting to slow. That's hard to see from this weekly chart, but if you look at the daily chart, 
um, it's becoming apparent that uh, buyers are starting to write more contracts, which would indicate that this will be leveling out eventually and then potentially swinging back up. Right. And that, you know, the future is unknown, but that would, you know, based on all the available data, that would be the expectation that we have is that as uh, the coronavirus comes more under control and as people start re-entering, you know, public life, if you will, um, they'll get back out into, into the marketplace. And as that happens, this is going to level off. And then because we have not solved the fundamental problem in the Phoenix metro market of a lack of supply, as buyers get back in their cars and start driving around and looking at houses, we are going to see a return to this environment here where the index is going to start to climb and prices will, uh, you know, as well. And it will be, again, very much a seller's marketplace. So now is the opportunity, if you're a buyer, we have this little break here where you don't have as much competition in the marketplace and you will have an easier time putting the home of your dreams under contract. And for sellers, it's still a great time to sell, as you can see, because we still are in a, uh, a seller's uh, market. And, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's not a normal market to put your house on the market and to have it sold within 24 hours. That's not normal. And, and we still have a long way to go before we're even anywhere near normal, um, which of course means that at the current Cromford Market Index of 166, it's still a great time to sell. If you would like to keep on top of what's happening in the local real estate market and you'd like the monthly market updates from the Cromford Report, just send us a quick email at cromford at nhvw.info and we'll make sure you get signed up.